doing? What's up, YouTube? Jeff D here, right in your screen. I'll be playing Ori in the Blind Forest for this Let's Play on the YouTubers. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I'm a live streamer on twitch.tv slash Jeff D, but this game is so magnificent, so beautiful. I cried the first time I see the prologue. Uh, uh, but I'm recording it for YouTube. I only seen a little part of it. I'm gonna start a brand new game and I'm gonna lead you guys uh, through it. So here we go. And action. I have a glandular problem. This is this is actually how Nunu uh Willem met. Legends joke. them for you <laughs> these are mine my orange apple
He slept for a long time. Who peed on my orange? Orange apple. Apringe? Who peed on my apringe? That you fish? Did you pee on my apringe? That apple orange apron op op lunch? Maybe. Oh, some special orange. Nope. Denied. I'm a horrible human. But the first time I watched this, I cried like a goddamn child. Some fruits. In the fields, the fields. Right. The end. Well, thank you very much for joining. 
And here we go, I'm back. This is time for uh, the real gameplay. That was the prologue. Actually, I did control some parts of it. Uh, but now it's time to play the game. Oh, this game. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Secret! All spirit light container. Spirit light is the... Page down there. Eta. By the way, the this game, like, not only Oh, there's life shard. Controls are very, very good. Very, very good. Energy cell. Uh, you can now collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link in your game. The thing is, I never knew I could create a soul link. But now I know. I'm gonna remember about it. I did save my game. Uh oh. No, I have it. Never. Uh oh. Yep. Nailed it. Spirit light. Build the meter. You'll gain an ability point. So the thing on the left, the blue, the blue circle, is the energy power. of the spirit tree. I won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. I was lost in this clan when she loosened, loosed, loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey. You allow me to come, but be still. Can you hear that? They must have followed you here. Um, this is actually our weapon. And this is a giant frog. So what I was saying is on the left side of the meter, a meter down there, there's a blue circle. The blue circle means uh, energy links, energy power orb. Green ones are HP, life bars. The turn play past the caverns. Uh, you'll, you'll find him. There's a path up. Also, this game is a Metroidvania. Uh, if you love the Matroid, or the Metroidvania genre, there's like a map, like this. See, Metro Metroidvania. You navigate through the whole map. There's sometimes you will backtrack, but it's well made. It's not like complete backtrack, straight backtrack. As far as I saw, or I played about 25 minutes of it. Okay, so this is an ability tree. There's three branches. Of uh, one is. A Offense and ability. I would. Damage.
Pitted wells are into by the root of their tree. Their light to replenish your strength whenever you are weary. Save point. What's really cool about this game too is that there are are platforming but well platformer elements, but also a shit ton of RPG element. The ability points and damage you can have more damage and stuff. It's really really effing cool, and I would say even fucking cool. Secret Keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. Got it, boys. Here we go. The second keystone. Oh, door. Spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. The required keystone must be nearby. Spirit tree will must pass the uh, spirit caverns. Avers that lie beyond this gate. Damn, I used it. And here we go, boys. Ow. Remember, kid. <laughs> remember, kids. You you shall level up more often. Use your your safe. Knock knock. Down there. What's haps, boys? This is a map stone. One of the many ancient markers created to start the forest of Nibel. True. There's a piece missing. Find the map stone fragment. We might be able to repair it. Where is the map stone fragment? Stone? Careful of the mean spikes! Damn, this is so beautiful. Look at the explosions. Look at everything. It has like the uh, Diablo 3 level of Wash a shells! Kablam! <laughs> The hope. The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we are alive and he is the reason we grew. When we called out to find you, many years passed, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Now these ancestral trees this is all true. Are what that's left behind. Come closer now and feel the light of Phil. Spirit inside. Hmm, please, please. I want to take over all the spirit inside. Touch me. Touch me now. Yes, you've learned wall jump. To use this ability, push the 
I'm gonna go with thumb stick toward toward wall and press A continuously to lean upward. You found an energy cell. <laughs> but seriously, though, like, look at how. Beautiful everything is and not only is beautiful it plays well It plays insanely well um, You'll see that later on if you're not used to the um, Rage platformer There's some you know elements that requires skills ish Ability tree. Oh yeah, I got I got spirit magnet last time. Uh, most pickups float now float. Ori. Is the strength of spirit flame. Secret. Gonna push this uh, giant rock through these um, wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers spinning flame thing. He got that thing. Hey. Now we can reach, reach uh, the thing right there. There we go. Found the map stone, Fred, man. Turn this to the map stone. Well, I'll sure will. Ow. So I touched the thing that I was not supposed to touch. And see, I did forget to save after grabbing the map stone fragment, so I have to do the thing all over again. And this is not because the game, you know, is poorly designed or anything, it's because I'm stupid. Because it's really easy to save when you have a save, uh, soul link part thing. It's just that I keep forgetting about it. Um, so if you're not used to the check, like, a ch if you're used to a checkpoint system, and you're playing this for the first time, you will, like me, well, you're probably way smarter than I am, but let's say that you're somehow stupid, as I am. Um, you might, uh, you know, require some time to adapt yourself, adapt your playthrough, or your, you know, your gameplay, um, the, the saving mechanic. There's some uh, auto auto save too, um, but yeah. But see, now I saved. That's all I needed to do. All I needed to do right now. If I die, I'm gonna spawn right up there. Right up there. I going the right way. I am most definitely not. <clears throat> Actually, at that point, killing myself would have made it faster. I see some speed running uh, abilities or speed running things, help or or cuts. Down there, right? Yo, mapstone fragment. Yep. 
now we have the map. So as you, as I said earlier, uh, this is a Metroidvania, and I have to reach uh, the tree. I think find the spirit tree right there, where I'm at. So it's cool. This seems like a wonderful first part, a uh, wonderful place to stop the whole video for the first part. So if you really like this, please hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, part two is gonna appear somehow, somewhere, a place you'll be able to click or whatever. Uh, but thanks, and uh, see you in part two.